Welcome to Park Sean McDermott in Carrick and Shannon for this uh, Connacht Senior Club Championship semi final between Havasa Fleetham and Corrafin of Galway. The teams are out on the field, it's close to uh, throw in time, and we'll give you the lineup of the Ahavas team as they're in their huddle with Dear McBrady and Gold, the full back line of Seamus Clarivi, Adrian Charles, and Enda McDamara. And the half line, Barry McKeon and Willie Casey and Philip Charles, Damian Smith and Eamon Hilton are in midfield. The half forwards are Seamus McBride, Porrick McLaughlin, and Kevin Keegan. And the full forward line, Raymond McBride, Finton McBride, and Colin McKeon. Dressed in their green and gold down to a right are the Corrafin team from Galway, and they will line out with Martin McDamara in goal, a full back line of Brian Silk, the captain, Jason Killeen, and John Lardner. And the half line is Michael Comer, Ray Silk, and James Lardner. Midfield is Aidan Donlan and Kieran Fitzgerald. And the half forwards are Shane Conlisk, David Morris, and Michael Kenny. And the full forward line, wearing number 19, at top of the right is Trevor Burke. Full forward is Kieran Comer, and top of the left is Alan O'Donovan. Willie Feely from Mayo is the referee. The backs and forwards are now moving towards their positions. And we're just seconds away from the second of the Connacht Club Senior Football Championship semi-finals. Cross Malina of Mayo are already in the final. They await today's winners. So it's hats on after the national anthem. The midfielders have lined up. Willie Feely is getting ready to get the game underway. I can tell you that there are some positional switches on the Ahavas team with the half forward line of Seamus McBride and Kevin Keegan. They've switched sides. So the game gets underway and the first three of the game goes to Ahavas with Damien Smith sends right through up the middle. Finton McBride is trying to win it, but Ray Silk is there to pick it up for Corrafin and Ray fouled as he tried to get out with it. Sends the free down and Adrian Charles of uh, Havas is out to meet it. Adrian playing it up the field and Fenton McBride laying it off nicely now. Philip Charles with the ball back into Fenton McBride. Fenton trying to feed it into Porrick McLaughlin. The left footed kick from Porrick McLaughlin has gone left, gone wide. We've played just over half a minute of play in the first half. Looking at the flags beneath us, the breeze is favouring Corrafin in the first half. It will. This one dropping out. And Eamon Heslin tapped it down. That's going to run over the sideline. Michael Comer about to take the kick for Corrafin. Dropping it down inside and uh, held well by there by uh, Enda McNamara who takes the return pass from Adrian Charles but uh, Cara Finn combining with Brian Silk and Michael Comer and then feeding the ball down there to Kieran Comer who's gone on the run as well Trevor Burke was also in the thick of the play there as David Morris was also involved but Ahavas break it up and Emma Heslin passing the ball out to Damian Smith as Ahavas tried to bring it up the field Met there by Jason Killeen, and Jason Killeen's kick is going way right down, and uh, they're coming onto the attack. Alan O'Donovan was tugged. Corrafin get the free. The chance of the opening score with just over two minutes played in the first half. It's Alan O'Donovan who's. Uh, going to take the free Why? 
That's well struck. After two and a half minutes play in the first half, Carafin opened the scoring. That's going to drop out towards the middle of the field. Aidan Danlon. Aidan feeding it down there now to Michael Kenny. They were calling for it. Willie Casey got a boot to it, but not getting enough on it. And uh, Willie Feely penalising the Carrafin man, David Morris, and awarding the free out, which Adrian Charles is about to take for a Havas. Players underneath it, Ressil taps it down, and now Trevor Burke. Trevor Burke will lay that one across for Aidan Danlon. Danlon will switch play across towards the far side, and as the ball breaks, it's picked up by Alan O'Donovan, a very lively forward, over-traveling with the ball, free out to Ahavaz. Carafin crowd do not like the decision of the Mayo man, Willie Feely. Ahavas will accept that, Adrian Charles will take it. Kicking it high up beyond midfield. Now John Lardner. Alan O'Donovan's jersey was being held by Seamus Colreavy. So Carafin with the free in. And Alan O'Donovan with this uh, old style of kicking them from the ground. Two for Alan O'Donovan and two for Currafin as they lead Ahavas by two points to nothing with just over five minutes played in the first half. Brady's kick. Out into the middle. Trevor Burke was trying to nudge it on. Raymond McBride over there to pick it up for Ahavas. James Lardner after him. Philip Charles in support. Philip Charles will jab that one forward. Brian Seek goes across. And Brian Silk getting good support in there, but Ahavas coming in to block it down and Porik McLaughlin to pick it up. McLaughlin will drive that one in, driving it in high to Colin McCairn and McCairn in turn. Goal from Colin McCairn. Just over six minutes played. The lobbying ball in from Porik McLaughlin after the goal with defence had their attempted fairings blocked down. So Martin McNamara. That's very well held by Damien Smith and laid off. Philip Charles booting it way, way up there, but that's going to roll out over the sideline for 25 metres out. That's in to Michael Comer. Support from Aidan Danlon. Dropping it up, trust Kieran Comer. Adrian Charles will battle with him. Adrian Charles in possession, tackled by Kieran Comer. The referee waits and uh, deemed that Adrian Charles uh, overheld the ball. So it's Kieran Comer to take the kick just outside the 20 metre line, close to the sideline. Hitting it across towards the far side, it's knocked into the middle. And a gunner for Dachavas player out over the end line for a 45. He's going to take the 45.
floating it to the left. Willie Casey brought it down, but it was uh, picked up. The, it uh, sent out over the end line for a wide for Currapin. David Comer has gone into the Currapin team. I think I'll check it. So with Jason Killeen gone, Brian Silk has gone to full back. Philip Terrace of Ahavas is in possession. Up to Porrick with Lockton. Quickly up there now to Fintan McBride. Back to Porrick with Lockton. Back to Fintan McBride. Ahavas driving forward with Fintan McBride, their captain, taking the shot, dropping it in, but Brian Silk was there to grab it. Feeds it out to Michael Comer. Now Currafin will try and bring it away with Aidan Danlon. And Willie Feely has blown the whistle. There's uh, one of the Currafin players uh, down up here to our left. Aidan Danlon, the midfielder. He was the one who was uh, releasing the ball. They were playing away down here at the other end, but uh, Willie Feely had called it up. He's having a word with Ahavas' uh, corner forward and goal scorer, Carl Colin McKernan. Showing him the yellow. Just over 10 minutes played. Aidan Donlan's back on his feet. And the free will be from where the ball landed. And that landed uh, down in uh, within about uh, 50 metres or so of the uh, Ahavas goal. The rain pelting down here in Cork Sean McDiarmid in Carrick and Shannon. Aidan Donlan across towards Alan O'Donovan. Ball breaking down and O'Donovan trying to chip it inside. Now it's shot to the right of the left foot of Mikey Kenny and gone wide. With 11 minutes played in the first half. It's one goal to Ahavas, it's two points to Currafin, and it's Dear McBrady to take the kick out. Number of players jumping. Seamus McBrien was back there helping. Paulie Fidlachlan is pushed over by Ray Silk. Philip Charles getting it up, and uh, Michael Comer was fouled. Now Trevor Burke is in possession, laying it in where Kieran Comer had called for it. Kieran Comer trying to roll it in towards Alan of Donovan, Seamus Carivi, and then Willie Casey get it out the field a bit, but that will be cut off in possession as Shane can list plays the ball back. Now the build with Kieran Comer who gets the free in front of goal. Aidan Danlon is on the ground again in need of some attention. Almost 13 minutes gone in this first half. As uh, Willie Feely is having a word in there with Willie Casey. And he's also, uh, now he's uh, speaking to Damien Smith. A yellow for Damien Smith in the 13th minute. And Alan O'Donovan to uh, take the uh, free for Currafin, the chance to level up the match.
Hurricane would appear to be warming up a substitute just in case the midfielder Aidan Ganlon doesn't recover. The sides are level as Alan O'Donovan has uh, popped over his third point. Now, Ahavas will try and come forward with it. Brian Sink doing a bit of pushing there on Finton McBride. So Ahavas gets the free. This uh, kick for a Havas, taking it high into the wind, is deflected down inside. The rain coming down against the window here is uh, partially blocking my vision, but uh, right now a Havas are attacking. But the attack, the shot going wide, the parting shot was from Fenton McBride. So We've just crossed the halfway stage of the first half. It's all square here as Corrafin come attacking. That ball slipping past Alan O'Donovan, but going in where Kieran Comer has picked it up. Kieran Comer trying to drive forward into Shane Conlisk. Shane Conlisk laying it back towards Kieran Comer. Now support coming in from Kieran Fitzgerald. Kieran Fitzgerald has put the Corrafin men in front. Almost 16 minutes played. They lead by four points to Ahavas's one. Jim McBride's kick out, dropping out, and Caden Fitzgerald laying it inside for Shane Conlisk. Ball runs away. Adrian Charles did enough. That's nicely into the middle to Damian Smith. Now Porik McLaughlin. Colin McKiernan has switched out to right corner forward, and is fouled by David Comer, who came out of substitute some time ago. Here comes a shot from Porrick McLaughlin, that's dropping over the bar, and the sides are level, 17 minutes played in this uh, first half. So Martin McNamara to Kicking it high out towards Shane Conlisk. Eamon Heslin to Porig McLaughlin. McLaughlin's attempted pass is... Uh, he's Robert Keaton Fitzgerald and Dave, uh, Trevor Burke was coming in. Willie Feely comes in as he blows the whistle and is going to have a word with Porig McLaughlin. And yellow. 18 minutes gone in the first half. Everbrook sending the free downfield. It falls nicely for uh, Kieran Comer. He got a second chance to pass it in. Michael Kenny pulls on it. Jim McBrady diving, got a hand to it. 45. It might have been going outside, but Jim did not take the chance. So. Alan O'Donovan sends it in for the Ahavas marking. Seemed to be a little slack, but a good defensive cover coming in there now as Seamus Kilreavy did manage to get the ball out. Damien Smith is now in possession. Raymond McBride was way back there helping the defence. This is Fintan McBride. Fintan McBride up to Colin McKiernan. Now, Kevin Keegan was going running. Colin McKiernan takes the shot and Ahabaz has scored. Martin McNamara with the kick out. We approach the 20th minute. Raymond McBride. Raymond will lay that ball across now for Barry McKiernan. Barry McKiernan's kick. Brian Silk missed it for Currafin and Fintan McBride is fouled as he tried to pick it up. Porrick McLaughlin was about to break away with it. So 
So we'll have a with the free Fintan McBrien to take the kick. Dropping in, Martin McNamara getting a touch on it, and Alvas get the 45 by 1-2 to 4 points. Horig McLaughlin is the one who's going to take this 45 for Rahab. Kicking it high. It comes down and it's fisted in. And it's fisted over for a point for Ahavas. Fintan McBrien. McNamara's kick comes out into the middle of the field and uh, Willie Casey tapped it down, cutting hole. Ray Silk picks it up and Ray Silk now combining with Caden Comer. Caden Comer trying to feel it down to Michael Kenny. Kenny juggling with it but uh, eventually getting it as he almost took it out of the hands of teammate Caden Fitzgerald. That's pulled down by Adrian Charles, sent out to Philip. And Philip Charles up for Portic McLaughlin. Racing diving in. Racing winning possession. Surrounded there by Ahavas players. Support coming in from Michael Comer. Michael Comer jabbing the ball down to Kieran Comer. Kieran Comer looks to see who's doing the running in the middle. It was Aidan Donlan. Aidan Donlan feeding it in now. Trevor Brook. Trevor Brook trying to drive forward. Trevor Brook shot has gone over the bar. Willie Feely gets the second half underway and Eamon Heslin of Ahavas dropping the ball down. Now the chance for Colin McKiernan and Raymond McBrien and Fintan McBrien eventually with Portick McLaughlin. McLaughlin's kick is going to hang out towards the left. Seamus McBrien is underneath and Seamus McBrien leaving it behind and uh, David Comer was there to get it out the field where it's now picked up by Michael. Michael Comer laying the ball back. It's now with Ray Silk and Ray Silk will drive it up towards the middle. Raymond McBrien for Ahavas will feed it off to uh, Barry McKeown and Barry McKeown and in now to Fintan McBrien. Fintan's kick is dropping in towards the edge of the small rectangle. The chance is blocked by Marty McNamara from Colin McKeown who pulls on it again and uh, picking it up is Brian Silk. Brian Silk's clearance coming out the field. Fintan short is in quickly. He sent it to the right off the left foot and sent it wide. For a second, Colin McKeown thought that he was in for a second time in the game. And uh, 20 seconds of the second half. That's going right over the sideline. Barry McKeown will take the sideline kick for Havas. High across in towards the middle. And... Uh, the referee says that it was picked off the ground and Ray Silk takes the free out. Damien Smith will pick that one up on the halfway line. Down to Porrick McLaughlin, it goes past him. Philip Charles is there to feed it on to Porrick McLaughlin. Porrick being pursued by David Comer. 
That's floating in high. Martin McNamara locks up. The ball coming back up to Prosper and Colin McKiernan is there. Colin turning. This kick is blocked out by John Lardner. And uh, John goes back to pick it up on the end line. Now, can uh, Michael Comer get out with it? With the help of the referee, he does. Out to Kieran. Kieran Comer way back there, deep in his own defence, helping out. So the referee just holding up play for the moment. Kieran Comer in need of attention. The current in fee comes up to Trevor Burke. Nicely laid back, and Aidan Donnan will uh, lob that one in. Trust Alan O'Donovan. Seamus Gallery be trying to pam it down. O'Donovan trying to find his way in, into the middle, and the shot has gone over from David Morris. Full forward on the Currafin team, but Kieran out waiting for the kick out. Steve McRae's kick will come beyond that. And Porrick with Lachlan trying to feed it down. Now Philip Charles is on his way. Philip Charles with the kick, and Philip Charles with the point. It's 1 6 to 1 4. So Martin McNamara to take the kick out for Corrafin. Eamon hasn't got a hand to it, couldn't hold on to it. Shane Conley tapped it into David Morris and takes the return pass. Adrian Charles in the way for the moment, but Aidan Donlan onto it. Aidan Donlan into Kieran Comer. Kieran Comer trying to find a way through. He's surrounded by a wall of green and white. The ball is eventually knocked away, and Willie Casey is there to pick it up, and Willie trying to get out with it. But that will be Cardiff in the possession as Trevor Burke waits all alone. Trevor now being chased by Finton Short. Good support coming in from James Lardner. James Lardner interests Kieran Comer. Missed it, but Ray Silk was coming on to it. The shot from Silk has sailed over the bar. <laughs> Allowing for stoppage, so we've played about four minutes or so. Five minutes in this uh, second half. Out comes Jim with Brady's kick out. Okay. Ray Silk will get it. And Ray Silk sending it through the middle, but uh, a free two. So, uh, Alan O'Donovan may be the one who's going to take the free. He's popped it over to stretch the lead 1 8 to 1 4 in favour of Currafin.
Game is kick is high out towards Raymond McBride as Pam Don, but uh, Kieran Comer is there. Kieran Comer trying to feed it up and going for the return pass from James Larner. Still Kieran Comer being chased by Willie Casey. He's surrounded in there, releasing the ball. Porrick with Lockton in, but couldn't quite pick it up. James Larner to Alan O'Donovan. Now Aidan Donlan. Now David Morris. But uh, Willie Casey was there. Gets it out. Philip Charlison runs in the back. Gets the free and takes it quickly. Out for Finton McBride. Brian Silk is after him. Finton McBride going to the ground in possession. Under the challenge from Brian Silk and gets the free. Finton didn't like the challenge. Then it comes now to Porig with Lockton. Porig is tripped. Peter McBride is uh, getting ready to go into the game for Ahavas. Peter, who was a stalwart wing back for several seasons with the Ahavas lads. Martin McNamara brings it down. And now this is Aidan Danlon. So now as uh, Corrifin come forward with it, this is uh, Alan O'Donovan. And O'Donovan challenged for it there, right there in front of us. Now this is John Lardner, up to James. And... Uh, James Lardner chipping it right into the centre. Kieran Fitzgerald lays it off for David Morris. And that's gone close to the end line. So Peter McBride goes in to replace Finton Short and will take up his position in the half-back line. Number 17, Peter McBride has replaced number 16, Finton Short of the Arabas team. And the final score between Tyrone and Kerry was Tyrone 48 and Kerry 6 points. Derek Riley has just gone into the Currafin team. Michael Kenny is the one who is making way. Number 13, kicking. Derek Riley has replaced number 12, Michael Kenny, on the Currafin team. Now Trevor Burke picks the ball up for Currafin. Support coming in for Caden Comer. Caden Comer will feed that one further up. And Shane Connolly is trying to pass it inside to James Larner. Up from the half-back line. That took a deflection for the 45. So it's Alan O'Donovan who will take the 45. Currafin who lead Ahavas by 1-8 to 1-4. About 12 minutes played in this second half. Here comes the kick from Alan O'Donovan and that's gone out over the end line and it's gone wide. So we await the kick out from Jeremy Brady.
Now Barry McKiernan tried to release it. Caden Fitzgerald gets it to Trevor Burke back to James Lardner. James Lardner switching it in towards David Morris. Adrian Charles was jumping. Seamus McBride goes back to pick it up. Feeds it out to Seamus Culreavy. Culreavy down it was Philip Charles. Philip Charles being tackled by Michael Comer. Now Seamus McBride, Paulie McLaughlin. The only man down there in the Nahvast jersey was Colin McKiernan. He was beaten to it. James Lerner now about to make the clearance for Currafin. Enda McNamara brings it down. And Enda McNamara sends it down where uh, Kieran, uh, Trevor Burke will go back to uh, collect and get it out to Brian Silk. Now James Lerner took the pass from Kieran Fitzgerald. This is Aidan Donlan. And Curafin get the free. So Trevor Burke about to take the free for Curafin. He'll hang that high up towards Alan O'Donovan. It got a bit of a deflection, and Adrian Charles is there for a havas. Feeds it out to him and Heslin. Heslin out now to Peter McBride, lays it off for Raymond. Four McBride brothers on the field at the moment for Ahavas. As Eamon Heslin now about to lob that one in. Feeding it inside, but Martin McNamara will kick that one out where uh, David Comer is back there to pick it up. Up to Caden Fitzgerald. Into Brian Silk. Back to Caden Fitzgerald. Intercepted there and Ahavas will try and build. Fintan McBride lobbing it in. That will run all the way back there to Martin McNamara. And uh, the Carafin men back in numbers defending. We're halfway through the second half. Four points in it. Carafin the leaders. 1-8, one, 1-4. One, Aidan Donlan laying the ball off. Ray Silk there to help out when needed. And Willie Feely has blown the whistle and has awarded the free to go to goal with Van Ray Silk. There was a little bit of uh, Tugging and holding between him and Heslin and Kieran Fitzgerald. There was also some uh, little bit of niggling going on uh, further up the field, and Willie Feely has uh, gone up there and showing a yellow to uh, Seamus Culreavy, calling for the ball. So the Currafin free has been moved uh, much. Alan O'Donovan sends it to the left and wide. Up to eight scores, Mead 1-3, Sligo 1-2, Roscommon 1-4, Loud 7 points. So Adrian Charles gets the ball out to Damien Smith. Down the field it goes. But uh, James Lardner and Aidan Danlon. Aidan Danlon feeding the ball up to Derek Riley. Derek Riley trying to get away from Seamus Culreavy. Enda McNamara comes across. Feeds it out to Eamon Heslin. Heslin out to Finton McBride. Finton supported by Peter. Peter McBride tackled by Shane Conlis. Philip Charles had the ball knocked away from him. And as Shane Conlisk is uh, breaking away with it, held by Finton. Caden Comer has gone out to take the kick.
One eight one four. That's the scoreline. Kieran Comer kicks it high and wide. Scoreline remains the same. Willie Casey couldn't hold. Shane Connolly couldn't pick it up either. Adrian Charles under pressure. Out to Damian Smith. Damian Smith for Ahavas as he tries to lay the ball off for Raymond Heslin. Heslin will pass it inside now. Seamus McBride. Seamus will try and take on the Corriff Independent, but he's surrounded. Needs help from Eamon Heslin. Gets the help from Eamon Heslin, who's fouled. And Finton McBride will take the free. Finton drops it in, and Finton drops it over. 1815. About 10 minutes left in the game. Play over on the far side as Derek Riley releases the ball. Now John Larner gets it upfield, toss Michael Danlon, and Michael Danlon breaking away with it. Being chased by Adrian Charles. That's gone over the bar from Michael Donlan. One nine, one five in favour of Currifin. National League score, Donegal five points, Galway four. Out to the middle, Aidan Donlan jumping. Peter McBride there to pick it up. Philip Charles in possession now. Down to us, Colin McKernan. Colin, as John Larner will put in the challenge. Colin McKernan kicks it high across into the middle. Who will it break for? It may break for Ray Silk and Ray for Currafin. Feeding it out to James Larner. James Larner's kick. Seamus Kalrivi misses it. Derek Riley gets it, hooks it to Kieran Comer. They're on their way as uh, Kieran Comer goes forward, takes the shot, sends it wide, and Alan O'Donovan had gone inside unmarked, but Kieran Comer went for the shot. between them as Jim Brady kicks it out it's knocked down Barry McKeon trying to get the 200 but uh, Ahavas get the free the score from Kilmallock at the moment is Leighton 5 points Limerick 5 points this is Porig McLaughlin Porig chipping it down now to us Finton McBride Finton will turn and try and take on the Corrifin defence laying it in now to brother Seamus Seamus going for the kick, and the point from Seamus McBride, 1-9, one, 1-6. One, so Martin McNamara to take the kick out. Down in front of me, I see Charlie McCabe and PJ Carroll having a chat. Are they going to rearrange something? We'll wait and see. Adrian Charles is out now around the middle. Willie Casey is at full back. Finter McBride in challenge for it. Alan O'Donovan in to pick it up for Currafin. Alan O'Donovan surrounded. Corey McLaughlin picks it up for Ahavas. He's fouled. Porig sends it into Raymond McBride. Back to Porig McLaughlin. Booting it in high. They're underneath it. It's tapped down, and Marta McNamara will pick it up. 
as it comes now, and Curra Finn with David Comer for James Lardner, Alan O'Donovan in the McNamara tries to check him. Still Alan O'Donovan feeding it inside to Derek Riley. Derek Riley going for the shot and he sent it wide. Twenty-five minutes have elapsed since the second half started, but there was some stoppage time to be added on. There's three between them. If it finished level, now Adrian Charles picked that off the ground. Meanwhile, Michael Damlin and Willie Casey were uh, also on the ground. Kieran Comer is going to take this free for Currafin. Kieran Comer kicks it high. And those cheers are a Havas cheers as it's gone way out to the right and wide. National League score, awfully 1-8, Dublin 1 point. That uh, scoreline that uh, Jerry Mahan has just read out there will not please John Connolly. The scoreline here is in favour of Currafin and Derek Riley is tuck of his toe by Enda McNamara. Now Seamus Kalrivi trying to get it down the field. This is Trevor Burke, Caden Comer. Back to Trevor Burke. And Trevor working his way up along the stand side. Trying to roll the ball in, but it's a half-assed possession. They will come forward now with uh, Philip Charles. We were down at goals, but uh, John Lardner is there. John Lardner up to Keaton Fitzgerald. Now, David Comer, Alan O'Donovan. O'Donovan being chased in the McNamara after him. Still O'Donovan. But th there's a free out. Another scoreline, Cabin 2-6, Clare 1-6, Clare 1-5, Monaghan 6-5. Tinder into Porrick with Lockton, with Lockton is dragged down by Racelt. David Bohan is getting ready to come into the Ahavas team. The free is chipped inside to Finton. Finton McBrien kicks it high and Finton kicks it over. There's two between them. 1 9 1 7. And David Bohan still getting ready to go in. So Martin McNamara to take the kick out. Out it comes. That will be a line ball which Barry McKiernan will take. And Barry dropping it in high. It's broken down inside. Aidan Nunlin feeds it out to Kieran Comer, then to Kieran Fitzgerald. Now for Trevor Burke. Trevor Burke passing into us, Caden Fitzgerald. He's fouled. Regroup, 
So Trevor Burke is going to take the free into Ray Silk. Feeds it on for Aidan Danlon. Aidan Danlon laid it off out for Michael Comer. It's now with Caden Fitzgerald. Knocked away Aidan Danlon gets a touch to it. Michael Danlon, Derek Riley. Derek Riley kicks it high. Jim Brady will let that one go. It's gone wide. There's two between them. So Dermot Brady to take the kick out. Out for Adrian Charles who grabs it. Charles is held. He leaves it. Now this is uh, Peter McBride into Eamon Heslin. Heslin will drop that one in high. It's dropping inside, Barry McKeon is held back in there now, and John Lardner gets it out to Shane Conlisk. And Shane coming away with it for Currafin, into Caden Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald passes it across to Aidan Donlan, he's fouled. So Racing say, cool it down, lads. He'll take the free, or will he? He'll leave it. Kieran Comer rolls it across to Aidan Danlon. And there's a free for a foul on Enda McNamara, quickly taken. Comes down to Finta McBride. Finta being chased by Derek Riley. Still Finta McBride in possession. Laying it off nicely and takes the return pass from Seamus Calreevy. Now this is Seamus McBride. Seamus McBride passing it inside. Seamus Calreevy goes forward. Seamus Calreevy still going forward. He needs support. The kick is partially blocked down. They're underneath it. It's Ray Silk who gets it. Ray Silk, it's all over. It's all over. Willie Feely is blowing. And Currafin, 1 9. Ahavas, 1 7. Currafin of Galway march forward to the Connacht Club Championship final against Cospelina of Mayo. So, from Park Sean McDavid in Carrick and Shannon, the dream for the Leitrim Champions is over. They congratulate the conquerors, Currafin. So it's the champions of Galway who march on from Park Sean McDermott in Carrick and Shannon with Sir Sloan and Gaspana. Thank you very much.